Hey, Dave Knight here at 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here today. Uh, I had took a step backwards. Uh, obviously, I take a step forward and take a step back, take a step forward, take a step back. Uh, well, uh, Monday, you know, it looked like it was going to break down. It looked like it was going to go up. And then it looked like it was going to break down again. Then it looked like it was going to go up. And I got caught in the wash uh, during the session. And, um, um, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know where to go. I mean, the days like this makes me think, why am I even in this business? Because um, there were several different times I had a, a 1P profit on the trade, and it just came back and it took me out, and then I'd get back in or I'd reverse. And anyway, I ended up with, uh, I think, five or six trades today, and I went down uh, 44 ticks overall after. You know, it's just I'm just swinging back and forth. I think I'm around six hundred and sixty-five dollars after the smoke clears today, in, in the funded account. I know if I could just hang around long enough, I'll get that uh, a, a big uh, hit that'll knock me into the the next range of where I need to be. But you know, I'm just grinding it out right now, and um, I wish I I knew how to do it better, but I don't know how to trade any better than how I did today. I I possibly could have taken a couple le less trades during the session, um, but I, I think overall, even if I did, I still would have, uh, you know, it just the market kept uh, fooling and tricking me and um, wasn't a very easy market to trade in my humble opinion today. Anyway, just wanted to share this with you. I'm, I'm not going to put a blog post on it. At this point, I don't think uh, I did capture some some trades, but um, some some screen captures. There was, you know, the the I look back at it. The there was an open entry, um, the long that came in. Um, I was really happy with being long at both. Um, I think I was long at 37, 38, and then 43 another time, and. Both those long trades look really good. I thought that uh, I was in good position. The market went up, and then it came all the way down, and it run me out. I, um, the highest volume bar at that point was to be short. I was short, and then the market just kind of went all the way back up. And I really thought today when it was going to go up, it was going to go to pivot. I still believe that we're going to get to pivot to 53.01 as I'm recording this. I was thinking that the long, pretty much the whole morning session until... Um, the highest volume bar went blue, and then I'm thinking, okay, the market needs to be sold right now. So I followed my way I look at it and how I trade the markets. And it, and some days, you know, if I could just cut myself off at, at like three trades instead of five or six trades, I'd be so much better off in that sense. But um, you know, it's that one that gets away from you that that goes the direction of where you think it was and, and it was one of those days that I ran out of ammo before the market decided to to make the move and even if I had the ammo I don't know if I'd have been able to to stay inside the trade it was just a grinding market for me inside I, I, I wish I would have um, it, I, at the very beginning of time it looked like the market was going to break down and go down uh, and then it looked like it was going to go up, and then it looked like it was going to go down again, and then it looked like it was going up again. So it just, it, it, I got caught in the, uh, the wash today. It just did not move enough in the session when I was trading it, and um, it, it, it is frustrating. But that's all I really want to. I don't even know where to go with this. It just happens, right? And I don't know if I'll be able to, to stay inside the funded account or not because I can't seem to get that breakout trade that I need to be able, I mean, like Friday ended up getting 53 ticks and the day I give back uh, 44 of them. So, you know, when I wash it all out, you know, I'm still up over the $528 mark. I'm like at 665, but I'm not, you know, I'm just not getting that, 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 that really nice uh, three, four, five, six P trade that I, that I want that I, and I know it's going to come um, if I'm just, hang around long enough for it to shoom, to go the direction that I need it to go either up or down don't really care I just you know I know that I will catch one it's just a matter of can I last long enough 
in front of this to make for the market or can I stay out of enough bad trades so that I can catch that that one good one um, I don't know I don't know um, Tuesday I'll look at trading tomorrow and then Wednesday I believe is the inventory port and hopefully come into Wednesday of this week I'll be sitting in good position to be able to you know really swing for the fences come Thursday and Friday alright talk to you later bye for now